the highlights of my career was actually bowling 300 on television. I think it was the second tournament that I'd actually bowled in the US. And it was a case of more a fear of if I don't strike, <laughs> I'm going to lose, you know. And then it probably got to about the, the seventh or eighth frame and, and um, started to think, well, I'm still striking. This is, this is going quite well. And as the, the frames drew on, it was getting closer to obviously bowling 300. Three seed is all the way from Australia, just in time to turn professional. What a start. Well, Jen, how do you say welcome to America? I think it's two major tournaments and two shows. Kara is tough. She's experienced. I look for a very strong showing here and in the future. Well, her future starts now with our first match. She'll be joined by Alita Sill and Wendy McPherson. They're ready to roll. Standing by for a handshake. And it appears that Kara Huntingchurch just turned professional is going to start the match. 27 years old from Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia. She only bowled, as you alluded to, you said two majors. That would be the U.S. Open and this event right here, the AMF Gold Cup. What an opening shot. Boy, what a simple game she has. No, it's just get up and go. Nothing technical about her. Did, and I asked them if the lanes were playing the same today. They all felt pretty comfortable about it. Cara qualified third, but she was up and down. She was first there for a while. Um, first going into position round, in fact, and dropped all the way to third. <laughs> You know, she's been here so many times, and she knows what it's all about bowling on TV. And speaking of that, Cara has said that she's had a lot of TV time herself in Australia and around the world. Can they split it? Because they have a nine-bagger right now. Mm, if they tie, they... <laughs> oh, well, maybe. Okay. Well, it's not any of your papa. What would you call that one? Wow. That's a ten-bagger. The common look at this. Cara, honey church. Actually, seven continuous strikes, and uh, Alita Sim and Wendy McPherson didn't carry. Well, they've all been in the pocket right now. Alita went just a little bit high there in the uh, fifth frame. She left a 6-10. was pretty close. Other than that, everything's been right there. And moving down, Cara Honeychurch, eight in a row. That's incredible. There she is. You saw Kara uh, taking a deep breath in, blowing it out, trying to relax herself. And she does look pretty in control. And for nine, right here. Only three for 50,000. This match has gone so quick with all these strikes, it's hard to believe, but we are sitting here uh, waiting to see if Kara Honeychurch can throw three strikes here in the 10th frame. For fifty thousand dollars from Mastercard, only averaged two oh seven on this pair earlier in the week. Jan, she stood up just a little bit on yeah. that shot. I'm gonna tell you that was good recovery at the foul line. If that's what it was, that was some good instinct Sorry, right there. Lisa, but look out. Those uh, titles there. I'm sure Lisa still gonna be back up there fighting to catch you. Well, like we said, she's back. Her game looks good, I tell you. She, she's a completely different bowler than we saw just a little while ago, a few months ago. She looks so much better. Kara is searching, possibly for some tape. Oh, my. Who could believe on the front end, going for a $50,000 bonus, her grip came out of the bowling ball. She was looking probably for super glue or something to glue it back in. Well, and our tournament director just asked her if everything was okay, and she just calmly looks at him and she says, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Carl. You only have ten in a row. But, you know, what a lesson right there. Don't let anything bother you. If you got it, you got it, Carl. All I could think about was, oh, my God, I'm holding off the telecast. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't even really that concerned about, about bowling a 300. I was just concerned about putting everybody out. And the thing her hair's pulled back. If it was me, I'd be pulling my hair out at that point. Well, I probably would have gotten super glue all over my hand and like stuck my hand in my hair or something, but I'd be basket kid. 
chances for number 11. Oh. 11 in a row. Cara Honeychurch just in from Australia, her first tournament as a professional. This is for, this shot right here is for $50,000. Of all the 300s that I've bowled, the shot that I stood up for in the 12th was the most relaxed I have ever been. I just stood up there and an amazing feeling of calmness overcame me and I just said, well, you just gotta throw the ball the best you can and hope for the best. for Cara Honeychurch. Standing ovation here in Richmond, Virginia for Cara Honeychurch. Her first tournament as a professional. Welcome to America. Be interesting to see right now if Michelle Felton is on hand. She was the only other one to shoot 300. Boy, right there. Pretty doggone good shot for a 12 in a row and $50,000 all 10 in the pit. Look at that reaction. And that really um, was the turning point for me. I felt like it was okay for me to throw in my real job and, uh, and come over here and bowl. Being a professional bowler for that time has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. It's um, been able to live in a fantastic country and meet some fabulous people and, and uh, it's been great. I've just loved every minute of it. 